All right, we are out in the daytime kitchen with Chef Jeff, the corporate executive chef for Deschutes Brewing. That's me. Good to be back with you. Now, you, too, man. you cook with beer, which sounds like a nightmare to me. <laughs> but to you, it's probably easy as can be. What, what do I need to know if I want to cook with beer? You know, it, it has been a lot of fun um, ever since I've kind of left more of the fine dining world. And, you know, at the pubs, we can actually use raw ingredients like hops and wort, you know, the extraction of the grain. And, um, you know, so we have a lot of fun like that. But when it comes to the home cook, I say it's really pretty simple. It's like cooking with wine. Your lighter beers are going to go better with seafood and poultry. Um, your heavier beers, like uh, we were tasting the porter earlier, is great with cheeses and desserts. Okay. And then some of our medium-sized beers, like the English Pale Ales and Sours and Barrel Age, are more like your red meat. And so that's kind of the pairing side of it. Um, as far as cooking with it, the one main thing I always tell people is do not reduce beer. Mm. Because if it's a finished beer and you, and you start to reduce the liquid off of it, um, well, all that's going to do is bring out the hops, which is the bittering agent of the beer. So you sometimes, especially if you were to use like a heavy IPA, not necessarily hop slice wood bitter, but like our, our fresh squeezed, definitely. If you reduce that down too much, you're going to get the bittering thing. See how to mess it up already. All right. Well, no worries. Well, we're going to put you to work, see I, I what like you it. make for us. Stay with us. we got more daytime coming your way next.